And my time was running wild and in dead end streets and every time I thought I got it made it seemed the taste was not so sweet So I turned myself to face me But I've never caught a glimpse How the others must see the faker I'm much too fast to take that test Ch-ch-ch-changes Turn and face the strange Ch-ch-changes Don't wanna be a richer man Describe this school in one word. Uh, wow. Yep. Creative. Fantastico. Stunning. Inventive. Go! Go! Inspirational. Uh, brilliant. Mucky. Multicultural. Ethnics. Outstanding. On a day like today I looked at you and I Saw something in the way You stared into the sky I saw
just sitting in this very room taking my GCs. We lined up outside and came in here. All the desks were in here. It wasn't a library then at all. And we sat in long rows and sat our exams. I did quite well. 1931 32, we had to go to the Ocean Lane School before this was built by school. PT, we had to go to the YMCA in Fargate. Use their gymnasium. I know this is school days are the happiest days of your life, but when I was here, I don't think I thought. But it's nice to come out. It's strange being in here, because I think that when I was here, this used to double up for our dancing lessons. It's part of our games period. And this, when I was here, it was a segregated school. The girls were one end, and the boys the other end. And the boys used to look through that window at us when we were doing dancing in here. In our navy knickers and our Airtex t-shirts. That's one of the things I remember. And it's really strange to know I'm not going to say a name as a teacher here, but I was terrified of them when I was here. And now they don't look terrified. I expect you don't get terrified of teachers now, do you? No, I never do. Yeah. I so think I don't can... mention the names. I don't think I can them. guess which teacher you're talking about. It's a long time since I was here, but it's nice to be back in and not feel right. When I was here, they were really strict on school uniform, and we had to wear school berets, and your badge had to show. And the prefects used to be on duty at the door, and as we walked out at night to go home, they used to check that our badge was shown. And we went to learn our school bus used to stop right down at the bottom of the road at the saw bus terminus. And we were not allowed to get on the grace dance bus up to the school. We had to walk. I suppose it was quite a nice school, really, except for the terrible dinners. Are they improved? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Something I remember that put me off school dinners forever was boiled potatoes with black marks on, tin corn beef, and horrible baked beans. Yuck. I, I was not at high stores, but I, I joined the central school in 1932 and I moved up here to High Stores in 1933 and I shall always I, I shall always be thankful for the education which the Central School Stroke High Stores gave me. Right, well my first impression was the vast size of the school. I came from a small church school, small classroom because it was during World War II, many of the classes were held in people's homes with just sort of four or five children. Uh, so coming here with thousands was really was amazing. That was my first impression. And the fact that all, the, and it was just boys, of course, in the boys' school, all the boys came from all over the city, and some of them are still friends of mine today. How would you sum up high stores in one word? Uh, well, of course, I was here just after it was first built. Uh, well, it's a good, it's a very good school. I don't think you could sum it up in one word. I mean, it's changed a lot over the years. It was absolutely superb. You see, I was here, right? You see, 1937. So I'm in my 80s. So I knew it from long, long ago, and it was absolutely lovely. I simply, you know, I enjoyed it all six years here. My memory has been beaten with a gym shoe and a length of tubing from the physics laboratory. I was at the boys' grammar school from 1953 to 1960. And one of the highlights of the beginning there was a junior school society, which, amongst other things, we went out on hikes on Saturdays about once a month. And the two teachers who ran this, Mr. Coulson and Mr. Billington, certainly, I think, introduced many boys of my time to the joys of walking and hiking in the countryside and the appreciation of the countryside. I think that is probably one of the most significant memories of, of 
from high schools grammar school? Uh, well, I was here in 1937, the year of the coronation, as King George VI's coronation, and here till 1942, which was right in the middle of the war. And uh, so a lot of changes. Uh, for instance, when war broke out, the bottom corridor there was occupied by men, army men, who were operating the anti-aircraft guns on the field. And uh, we couldn't come here permanently until, uh, until they built air raid shelters just outside. In the, in the playing fields as they are now, and I believe the, playing, the um, air raid shelters are still there. So a lot of my time here was, uh, well practically all my time here was during the war. And uh, we didn't have a lot of food, we had rations. And so the food wasn't very interesting, school dinners weren't very really good. And uh, a lot of the male staff actually left and went in the forces. And we had uh, ladies come to teach us. Girls, concentration is key to success, so we used to say we were going to the concentration camp on the way. Oh, yeah, you did say that. Mm -hmm. And then one, they used to say, do you know what an epidioscope is? No. No, they don't. It's, it was like a, 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 a machine that they had, and they used to put a picture in it, and it projected it onto the blackboard, right? Uh -huh. And this particular day, Miss Greenwood had got all these lovely pictures set out for us. And me and my friend, who were quite naughty, we found these pictures of bare men and bare women. Lovely little Miss Greenwood, with those tinkling violet blue eyes. I remember one lesson when she was going on to use this projector, I think, to show some of the pictures to illustrate a point. And we, we shall remain nameless, slipped some other pictures into the pile, showing, showing naked men and women somewhere in darkest Africa. She was a loss of a word when she saw them. We sat giggling on the pile. Oh, when she was a miss, and I was uh, eating an ice cream, and I got my and we're beautiful, and I was a bit buried. And she <laughs> two cigarettes from my granddad and she said we could go and smoke these and we went in the ladies loos and inhaled all this smoke and we were so ill we were green and oh, oh uh -huh. that I was 12 and I have never never touched a cigarette again to this day <laughs> food oh. not very good because it was just after wartime and food was still on rationing I enjoyed something um, some of the meals were better than others Mm -hmm. um, I remember we had some sort of milk pudding with lovely orange <laughs> jelly. Oh, yeah, orange I jelly, that. yeah. Do you know, oh, I loved that. <laughs> and we had cheese pie or oh, cheese yeah. jelly. Cheese pie. Brilliant, yes. that. Yeah, and that if we didn't good. want anything, we just used to say, empty plate, and they'd swizz it down. But if there was any grizzle left or anything, we dare not leave it, so we used to hide it behind the bed. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> drop the bed behind the bed. Why didn't you want to leave the gris gristle? Well, yeah. well, 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 you, you, you weren't allowed to leave anything. You had to, you had to empty your plate. What about the um, 
when you didn't want it, they just like... Oh no, you had to eat it. They so they would them. just yeah. pass it back to you, kind of. Well, yeah, no, they would, if, if you sent a plate with food back down to you the end, they would just come over you and make you eat it. Yeah. 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 Tell you what else so we used to hide it. What else God knows what was behind those radiators. The, the tables were long tables and they had like... What would you call it? It was green oil cloth. It was like a, a covering. Green cloth, yeah. and it was green plastic. Yeah, I didn't have plastic then. No, it was the equivalent yeah. of, of uh, today's plastic. And they covered yeah. the tables. I just had to wipe them, you see. But it got worn on the edges. And the boys used to leave us notes under the table and say, meet me in the churchyard. So we used to bed every just to get there, see if anybody had left you a note, and then you used to write up back and put yes or no. I mean, I had to make my way across like the whole of Sheffield, my house is really far away. 